Tutorial 6, Question 1b. The first thing we need to do is to factorise the denominator. x times x, which will give us x squared. We've got x times 8, which will give us 8x. We've got 4 times x, which will give us another 4x, which means we've now got 12x. And we've got 4 times 8, which is 32. So x squared plus 12x plus 32 can be factored as x plus 4 times x plus 8, which means that we can write that our original expression is equal to a over x plus 4 plus b over x plus 8. To get this over a common denominator, we multiply this term by x plus 8 over x plus 8, and we multiply this term by x plus 4 over x plus 4. The denominator on both sides is now the same, so we can cancel the denominator and get 7x plus 36 is equal to a x plus 8 plus b x plus 4. Now, if we let x equal minus 4, this term will disappear. So minus 4 times 7 is minus 28 plus 36. Minus 4 plus 8 is plus 4, so we get 4a. So we can see that a is equal to 2. The next thing we do is let a equal minus 8. Let's just move it up a bit. If a equals minus 8, this term disappears. 7, 8 is 56, so we're going to get 56 minus 36. Minus 8 plus 4 leaves us with minus 4. Minus 56 plus 36 means that we've got minus 20, so b is equal to 5. Which means that we can write the original expression as 2 over x plus 4 plus 5 over x plus 8. As usual, we'll want to do a sanity check. We'll put a and b into this expression here. So we have 2x plus 5x, which is 7x. We've got 2 8s are 16, 5 4s are 20, 20 plus 16 is 36. And this expression is the same as this expression. So we can be confident we've got that right. <laughs>